Aloha Ohana, Pastor Le Momi Lani here. Today we're going to be going over quite a few scriptures, so bear with me, okay? So the topics that I want to talk about with you are, number one, that Jesus is your Redeemer, okay? And that Jesus, He helps you to see by shining light in areas of your life, revealing layers and layers and layers of unhealed business where you need healing that's where the lord going to pour his love upon is in the areas you need healing he will reveal these layers to you okay and there will be layers and layers of sin that was covered up that you didn't even realize or maybe you did know but then you didn't think that it has any hold or effect on you because you thought okay i don't do that no more okay but you never repent, you never give it to God, you never ask for forgiveness, okay? So let me just go over the topics. So we're gonna be going over that. Jesus is your redeemer. He reveals layers to you and he also removes the layers that he revealed to you, okay? And, all, and the, the whole ultimatum is that Jesus Christ is your redeemer. You are redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus, okay? By Jesus' blood. So I want to go ahead and get started with the topic reveal. So we're going to go to Luke chapter 1 verse 70 through 79, okay? Right. I already didn't bookmark all my stuff, so I'm not searching, searching. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so we're going over right here. Luke chapter 1 verse 70, verse 79, okay? It reads, Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high path visited us. Verse 79, it reads, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace, okay? So the Lord is the one who is guiding us, okay? He gives us light, okay? He gives light to them that sit in the darkness. So the Lord reveals to you, okay? He reveals to you and he is the one that guides our feet into the way of peace okay so he delivering you out of the darkness and into the light amen amen and all these scriptures will be in the description box below okay so let's go on now to Romans chapter 5 verse 1 through 5 okay all right Romans Five chapters one through five okay it reads therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ verse 2 by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God verse 3 and not only so but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience, experience, and experience, hope, okay? Praise God for that. So we're understanding that, you know, you're suffering, you're not suffering in vain, okay? And the Lord is working in you all for your good, okay? All of this, all the tribulations, everything that you're suffering, long suffering in Christ Jesus and you're persevering in, is not in vain that the Lord is working in you experience, okay? He working in you patience okay the lord is working patience and it, and with patience he working experience and with experience hope okay hope now verse five it reads and hope maketh not ashamed because the love of god is shed and abroad in our hearts by the holy ghost which is given unto us, the Holy Spirit, okay? That can lead you and guide you to and through truth in the mighty name of Jesus, amen? So God, he reveals to you, okay? He reveals. So in Romans chapter five, verse one through five, it's speaking of what is the purpose of all of that what we go through, all of that what we witness, our experience is to work patience, okay? To work hope. And hope through those experiences okay guys nothing is wasted amen nothing is wasted continue to ride that wave in the mighty name of Jesus okay hallelujah all right 
so now we're gonna go over layers okay layers so we're gonna go over acts chapter 26 verse 15 to 18 Acts 26, chapter 15 through 18, okay? It reads, And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, It is written, I am Jesus, whom thou prosecutest. Verse 16, It is written, But wise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these which that has seen and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Verse 17, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. Verse 18, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sin and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Amen. Okay, layers. Layers. The Lord will open your eyes. Okay. The Lord is going to open your eye and turn them from darkness to light. Okay. From the power of Satan unto God. In Jesus name. That, that you may receive forgiveness of your sins. And the inheritance among them are sanctified. And it is by faith that is in me. That is in Jesus Christ. Put your faith in. In Jesus Christ, trust in the Lord with, with your everything. With your everything, okay guys? With your everything. So now let's go over Romans chapter 8, verse 30 and 39. Four. See, it's much quicker when I bookmark everything and I'm not flipping back and forth. Okay. Romans chapter 28, verse... 38 and 39 all right right here okay let's go it reads for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come verse 39 nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of god which is in christ jesus our lord Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Amen. Okay? Layers. So no matter how many layers and layers and layers and layers of ugliness that has been stacked on your name, stacked on your represent, your, um, your, uh, what is that word called? Your, oh my goodness. Holy Spirit, you need to. Your reputation. No matter how many dirt and how many times Satan he tried to pull and whisper in your ear and tell you, you and sinner, you and sinner, yes you are. But you are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. He is the one who has sanctified you. He is the one who is the atonement for you and your sins. You trust in the Lord, you lean in the Lord, and you open your heart to the Lord, and you ask for, re for forgiveness and you repent. You know who is your foundation? Jesus Christ is your foundation. So no matter what, how many layers and layers and layers and layers of ugliness, of dirt that they try and stack on you and your name, you know whose name is greater than all names, and that's Jesus Christ. The Lord, he removed all those layers. The Lord, he revealed all those layers. And the Lord, he redeemed you from those layers of sin. Of your transgression of your hurt your suffering amen the Lord he heal you from within amen amen okay so that's Roman chapter 28 I mean 28 hello Mary Romans chapter 8 verse 38 and 39 uh, thank you Jesus okay so that was for layers and now I want to go over remove okay remove Hebrew, Hebrew chapter 1 verse 3, okay, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, did I say 2, forgive me guys, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, it reads, 
who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of, the, of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Jesus Christ. Amen. He hit up. Key word right there. Purged our sins. Jesus Christ did that for us. Okay. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had himself purged our sin, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. That's Jesus Christ on the throne. The Lord is the one who removed, who purged your sins. Amen. Okay. Sin purged in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood of the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. All right. So that was remove. And now we're going to go over redeemed. Okay. Redeemed. And I get four scriptures for that. Okay. Four scriptures for that. So we're going to go over Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 8. Where are you? Okay. Here you go. Okay, it reads, okay, but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondman from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. The Lord is the one who redeems you. Amen. Because the Lord loved you, okay, because the Lord loved you. And because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your father. So we know God keeps his promises. Amen. And we know God loves us. Okay. God loves us. Not because we love him. But because he the one would love us first. God loves us. Okay. He loves us. He is our redeemer. Amen. He is our redeemer. Alright. That was Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 8. Now we're going to go over Isaiah chapter 48 verse 20. All right, it reads, Go ye forth of Babylon, and flee ye from the Chaldeans, forgive me, Chaldeans, I say it wrong, with a voice of singing, declare ye, tell this, utter it even to the end of the earth, say ye the Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. Okay? The Lord hath redeemed his servant. The Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. With a voice of singing, declare thee. So right here, it is encouraging you and sharing what Jacob did, okay? Sharing that Jacob was redeemed. And sharing that Jacob was the Lord's servant, okay? So the Lord, he keeps his word, his promises. The Lord is the one who guides you, leads you, protects you, shields you from the evil one. He is the one who moves you forward. Who, you are the one that is being led and guided in his light amen in his light in his love in his tender loving hands amen those hands are tender and loving but they are mighty too they are mighty amen okay so now let's go over verse isaiah chapter 63 verse 9 page over okay all right it reads in all their affliction he was afflicted and the angel of his presence saved them in his love and in his pity he redeemed them and he bare them and carried them all the days of old okay in all of your afflictions the lord is afflicted the lord feel you he knows you better than you know yourself. I keep saying that. He knows you better than you know yourself. Way better than you know yourself, okay? Way better. And he knows better for you, okay? The Lord's thoughts, his ways, everything. Everything of the Lord is higher than you can even fathom, imagine, or get to know. God's ways is above our ways, amen? 
and he redeemed them and he bare them okay in his love and in his pity he has redeemed you okay? and he bears them and carried them all the days of old so the lord is walking and working with you every step of the way okay every step of the way you are not alone you are not alone okay so now we're gonna go over luke chapter 1 verse 68 where you okay right here it reads blessed be the lord god of israel for he had visited and redeemed his people. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he had visited and redeemed his people. The Lord is your redeemer. Amen. The Lord is my redeemer. God is good. Jesus is my everything. Yeah. Jesus is my everything. The Lord, he asked for what? Your heart. That's all he wants is your heart. A willing heart open up your heart in you invite the holy spirit in so he can lead you and guide you to and through truth in the mighty name of jesus and you repent and you ask the lord for forgiveness for your sins and your transgressions and you elevate your ears to the word of god so that way your faith can grow and you can get to know who you are in jesus because your identity is in christ jesus if you're on a path right now trying to figure out who you are and you're out there trying to do it on your own, you will be continuously chasing your tail, going on in circles. You may find a route that may be okay for you living in this world. But like I just said, in this world you are, but you aren't of it. You are of God. God, you belong to God. You are God's child. The Lord is being patient with us. He wants us to turn around and keep turning from sin keep turning from the wicked ways and not to stand in the way of wickedness to but to persevere in long suffering in the mighty name of jesus to persevere and push on doing all that you can to stand for righteousness and to pray for everybody pray for your ohana your kikis your neighbors your friends your community you pray for everybody you lift it up to the lord don't carry none of these burdens on you Jesus Christ already and carry all of your sins and transgressions and nailed it to the cross with his body that was torn and tattered and slashed. By his, by his stripes we were healed. So the Lord wants you to cast your cares and your concerns onto him because he has already done it for you. The Lord wants you to open your heart and to receive. Amen. Receive so you can be all that he has created you to be in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep persevering in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't give up. Keep looking up. Keep looking up. Keep your chin up. The only time you put your head down low is if you're in prayer. And you're submitting. And you, 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 you're surrendering it. You're surrendering. You're laying it down. You're going to lift them up to the Lord in prayer. Stay rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ's love. Continuously to pray. Keep praying. And don't give up and don't turn don't turn your back on God because you're not getting your way do know that what is in store for you is better than what you could ever hope for better than what you could ever imagine or dream of the Lord has something even better for you remember you are only in this world but temporarily and love is long suffering so whatever you're suffering you do not suffer alone because it is common to man what you are tempted and suffering about or in every season the lord is right there no matter where you go no matter where you turn no matter where you are the lord is right there jesus christ is with you every step of the way god loves you he is your redeemer your healer your deliverer your lord and your savior and he is the one you work out your salvation with. Your personal relationship with the Lord is what it's all about. Amen. So we must what? Continuously to pray and arm up and apply the full armor of light on in the mighty name of Jesus. It is important because we are in a spiritual war. It's a war going on. Okay. We're not up against flesh and blood. No matter how no matter who how where when if there's a physical being there 
is not that person it's the spirit that is behind that person that is connected to that person that you are dealing with you're not dealing with that physical person there is a spirit of wickedness that is connected to that person and the adversary is using people like puppets to come up against the child of God, to come up against you through your family and your friends and the ones closest to you. That's why we must stay armed up. So regardless of who we gotta we face with in the physical, but we know it's beyond flesh. We know that the Holy Spirit is the one who leading us and guiding us through in Jesus' name. And we know we can cry out to Jesus. And we know that Jesus Christ is our foundation and that we do not need to be afraid because we're already victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. And Jesus already has done it all for us. So we must what? Continue to pray, continue to march, continue to push on in the mighty name of Jesus because Jesus' blood is the one that washes you clean. God had the first word and he gonna have the final word. So you keep pushing forward and you persevere in Jesus' name and you cast all your cares, your concerns and your burdens, whatever it is weighing heavy on your heart and you surrender it. You lay it down, you nail it to the cross, you lift it up in prayer to God, and you ask for forgiveness. You repent and you open your heart. And you ask the Lord for remove from your heart any wickedness, any pride, any resentment, any jealousy, yeah? any hurt, any pain that you've been hanging on for years that is killing you, that is suffocating you. Having you having a hard time to see all of what God has blessed you with. You're having a hard time for switch your attitude to gratitude and you're laying on a flat line and you feel like you are walking dead. Cry out for Jesus. Give it to Jesus because Jesus already done it for you. Amen. God bless you, oh Hannah, in Jesus' name. Stay rooted and grounded in prayer because this is very important. We, the, the days the days are only going to get darker and darker and darker and the world wants you to focus on keep making that money honey it's not about money it ain't about fame it ain't about how many followers you got on instagram or how many likes you got none of that it's none of that the world will gladly love and accept what it is what's theirs i'm not a friend of the world i'm not of this world i'm in it temporarily i want sojourn soldier and, and one soldier of jesus christ amen we're on the front line honey and jesus christ is with you marching every step walking and you're working continuously doing what god will put you on this earth to do okay be everything that god will create you to be amen so now we're gonna go over romans okay <clears throat> romans Romans chapter 4 verse 25 it reads who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification Jesus Christ Jesus Christ was delivered for our offenses okay and Jesus Christ was raised again for our justification Jesus Christ already done it all for you amen Keep your head up. Seek first the kingdom of God. And everything else will be added to you. The Lord knows your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, what you got in your heart. Ask the Lord to clean and wash wash you clean. Ask the Lord to the Lord to flow his living waters and wash you. Amen. Renew your thinking. Amen. God is good. Okay. So I'm going to have all these scriptures in the description box below so you can go ahead and go highlight them if you want to or you can refer to them whenever you want to go and go study and get a little bit more, get more intimate with it, okay, and um, apply it to your heart, amen. Continue to pray, Ohana, okay, keep pushing forward and persevering in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and your Ohana. Aloha.